I got a new helicopter and it is actually a new helicopter. This is the Blade Infusion 180. Some are calling this the OMP killer. Let's see if it actually does. Now let's hope also that this helicopter doesn't end like my last helicopter flight. And I can... Oh, uh -oh, is that... uh -oh, uh -oh, no! I'm definitely in safe, but I just crashed. <laughs> Your battery, right? I think my battery died. I'm blaming it on solar flares. <laughs> Had to go through my... Uh, my stomach excuses. Reason. Yeah, reason, reason. Whoa, Abby, look at this. There's literally a circle in the sky. Wow. You guys see that? That's new. I've never seen a contrail do that. When did that happen? Now I'm going to fly on my NX6. This NX8 or the 10 would be great because this helicopter has telemetry back to your radio, which is amazing. And if you don't know what that means, basically I know when my battery is getting low and I can land before I crash. I think that last crash could have been a low battery. It could have just been me going to get in safe and not reacting quickly enough. They recommend for very advanced pilots, which I am not, a 600 milliamp LiPo battery. But if you want to fly a bit more sporty and slightly longer flight time, go with the 850. So that's what I'm going with. And these will be linked in the description box below if you want to fly on the exact batteries that I'm flying on. I love these little IC plugs. They're amazing. They work with EC as well, but let's just fly. Now guys, check this out. This is one of the coolest features about this helicopter. It's one that not many or if any of my helicopters have. It's a direct drive power system. Check out that brushless motor down there. Isn't that amazing? So there's no gears that we can strip in a crash or anything like that, which is what happened in my last helicopter crash. I came down not too hard, but the blade was still spinning and we have all stripped our main gear before. So there's no gear to strip now with that direct drive, which I think is really cool. So I actually took the time with some help. I have to give a massive shout out. I had some help with this one. Uh, Thomas, thank you. Uh, first hand help with getting this ready. I have three different flight modes and two different rates in here. I've got my throttle hold on the way it's supposed to be on. So right now throttle hold is on, which means I can push my throttle and it will not fly. We're gonna turn the throttle hold off and we're in safe mode, beginner mode. I also have a panic button set up on the I button. I'm ready for takeoff. I feel pretty good about this. Ready, Abby? Yep. You're going to hear it spool up. Now, this is going to be mainly controlled with the pitch of those blades rather than the speed that it's flying. So that's going to be a lot more aggressive flight with that. I actually have Expo in this too. <laughs> so like, up or down, mate. <laughs> oh, okay. I wondered what you were telling me. Let's go above the grass. I feel pretty comfortable to fly up here. And we'll start cruising around. Look, I test flew this like very quickly at our house uh, just to make sure it would fly. And it did. All the controls were set up the way they were supposed to, but I didn't get to cruise around at all. So here we go. That tail has a direct drive tail uh, motor. Of course. I'm so distracted with that crazy contrail Abby and I just saw in that jet. Make sure it's coming back toward us. Yes, it is. Silhouette flying right now. So guys, I'm just barely pushing the sticks around. Like this thing I know would be able to be very aggressive. I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the end of this summer, I will have learned a lot with helicopters. I really, really need to push my limits more than just crashing out there in the wet grass and just keep getting back on that horse and learning to fly. I plan on fixing my 230S and getting it back in the air and using it and this helicopter to learn more. Now this entire flight is with SAFE. So in other words, if you're unfamiliar with SAFE, how that works, if you're a newer pilot, oh, a little more throttle. Here, I will step out here and show you. Abby, you show them. Okay. That showed them nothing. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I don't know what you just did. Okay. He's not touching anything and it's hovering, but also it won't let you like flipping stuff. 
What about a flip? It, it won't let you like flip over and stuff. Oh yeah, right. So I can push full right and that's as far as it goes. Full left, that's as far as it goes. Full forward, full back and it'll auto center. And when you have wind or anything, it'll fight that wind really well. So um, that's what safe does for you. Now, let's see if we did this right. I'm going to try to do a flip. <laughs> I should be able to do a side roll. I'm gonna get it into the second flight mode. Make sure it doesn't skyrocket up or anything. Let's just see here. Okay, so it sort of did. Back to safe, okay. So this just felt way more aggressive than the 230S when I put it in that advanced flight mode. I sure would love to show you guys a flip on this in this video to show I'm not a total wimp when I fly these things, but I gotta try it, right? Here we mm -hmm. go, you ready, Abby? Wanna go I'm way up there. scared. I am too, honestly, I really am. Okay, here we go. Get it out it. More. Oh man. You're when I hear like it, over us almost. When I hear it like wind up more, it scares the poop out of me. It really. <laughs> I'm afraid of this little thing, guys. I just don't want it to end in a thousand pieces. This is a maiden flight. What's my telemetry on? Do I have the juice to do it? You're gonna use yeah. up all your juice. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I can do this. I did it with the 230S. Come on, Nathan, come on. Just get it out more. <laughs> out more, and I want to do a side roll so bad. Okay, is everyone ready? You did great on the is side roll last time. I'm everyone, ready. Abby, you ready? Ready? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> did you hear I it? apparently was not completely ready. I got super scared. Man, I got scared on that. I just didn't feel as good. So what I needed to do was lower my throttle some when I rolled it so it wasn't full throttle down. <laughs> Uh, I committed to it though. Should we commit one more time? Yeah. A little higher. I need to take it out of beginner mode, out of safe mode, and get a feel for flying it not in that mode. But let's do it. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, two side rolls, and you know what? This helicopter video is not going to end like the other one. We're not doing it. And before I have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's land it. Oh my goodness. Two side rolls, coming home in one piece, throttle hold, back on. Woo! <laughs> so just looking at this helicopter, I truly feel like it would be easier to work on than any other helicopter I've had. The frame just looks nice and simple. It's a very lightweight design, which is great for 3D pilots. This thing is capable of doing some insane stuff that I definitely cannot do, but wouldn't it be so cool if I progressed and made myself get better at flying? And actually, I've been told this is the next step from the Blade 230S, which is what I have. And yes, I crashed it, but we do all crash eventually. I need to fix my 230S or maybe get another one and I think fly the two of them. Fly this one and it and just see what I can do. Fly on a flight simulator then come out here and practice the new maneuver in real life. I have safe on a switch, I have a panic button and that is just awesome that I have this set up properly uh, to really test flying inverted and wrapping my head around hover flight rather than forward movement flight with airplanes. Although I can hover an airplane sort of and do some stunts like that. Uh, anyway, this was a blast, an absolute adrenaline rush. I really love this brand new Blade Infusion 180. Uh, the batteries are pretty affordable. It's a good size helicopter. You can fly almost anywhere. You really don't need a lot of space at all. In fact, if you have a lot of space, it kind of encourages further flight. For a successful maiden, bringing my helicopter home in one piece, an amazing wife, we're celebrating marriage of nine years now together. I just want to thank God for absolutely everything from this awesome hobby to just everyday life. It's beautiful and I'm very grateful. A massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your support. It means the world to us and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. If you want to see my Blade 230S crash video, that'll be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!